the best ways to increase oxygen levels in your blood and your tissues. Your lungs put oxygen into your blood when you breathe, and your blood cells carry this oxygen to trillions of cells in your body. However, if not enough oxygen is getting delivered to your organs, you may begin experiencing health problems such as feeling lightheaded or dizzy, you may get throbbing headaches, especially in the morning. The muscles in your legs may feel very heavy and tired when you're walking upstairs, and you'll sigh often through the day with small puffs of air, feeling a little bit breathless. Without enough oxygen, your heart has to work harder, and this can cause high blood pressure and damage to your other organs over time. For this reason, today we'll be exploring the best exercises, supplements, diet and lifestyle tips to raise oxygen levels naturally. These strategies will help to improve your energy, organ function and overall health. This video is for educational purposes only, so do speak with your doctor if you have any health problems at all. 1. Bateco Breathing Many people unknowingly breathe too heavily or too quickly and this is called over-breathing. We tend to take shorter gasps of air when we're stressed out or we're anxious and this can become a habit. Over-breathing lowers the amount of CO2 in your blood, which prevents oxygen from being absorbed by your cells properly. This is why they tell you to breathe into a paper bag when you hyperventilate, because it raises your CO2 levels which opens up the airways and allows oxygen to be absorbed. So, to fix your breathing patterns, start to take slow, relaxed, shallower breaths through your nose, and you should be focusing on breathing less, not more. You want to find the sweet spot where you feel slightly hungry for air, but not too much. This gentle breathing pattern balances out oxygen and carbon dioxide levels, allowing all of your cells to receive more oxygen. You should do this for 5 minutes 2-3 to three times per day to fix bad breathing habits and also relax your nerves. 2. Carbonated Water One of the easiest things that you can do to raise your oxygen levels is to simply drink more carbonated water. Now, regular water contains oxygen atoms which can be used by your cells. But carbonated water goes a step further as it also contains dissolved carbon dioxide. That's what gives it the fizzy, bubbly texture that we love. This carbon dioxide helps oxygen to go deeper into your tissues. It also makes the water slightly acidic and this helps your stomach absorb more minerals like potassium and magnesium, which are very important for proper blood circulation and normal blood pressure. I suggest drinking at least a litre of carbonated water every single day. 3. Improving your nighttime breathing One of the main causes of low oxygen levels is snoring or sleep apnea where breathing stops and starts during the night. This abnormal breathing prevents you from absorbing enough oxygen while you sleep, leaving you feeling very groggy and tired in the morning. You might even wake up with a headache which is caused by the poor oxygen in the brain. Mouth breathing makes this worse because it dries out your airways and also reduces oxygen intake. To fix these problems, I suggest using a wedge-shaped pillow to keep your head slightly elevated during the night. This helps to keep the airways open and allows oxygen to flow into your lungs. Also, keep the window slightly open to let fresh air into the room while you sleep. House plants like snake plant, aloe vera and areca palm release oxygen at night and can also improve air quality in your home. If you're a mouth breather, you might want to try taping your mouth shut or using nasal strips to encourage nose breathing. You'd be so surprised how you can wake up feeling much more refreshed and energised by doing this. 4. Ginkgo Biloba Ginkgo is one of the oldest tree species on Earth, with some trees in China that are over 2,500 years old. There are supplements made from its leaves which can increase oxygen levels by improving blood flow. 
it works very simply by widening your blood vessels which helps to deliver more oxygen to your brain, eyes and your extremities. Now, eating lots of sugar or refined foods in the past may have damaged some of the small blood vessels called capillaries. Ginkgo supplements, however, help to repair these capillaries and improve circulation in these areas. After just a few weeks, you'll notice clearer thinking, sharper memory and less brain fog. The best dose is 240 mg of ginkgo biloba per day split into two doses to boost your oxygen levels and to support your brain. 5. Eat red meat Another common cause of low oxygen levels in the body is anemia. This is where your red blood cells don't have enough haemoglobin to carry oxygen to your tissues. Anemia makes you feel tired, weak and short of breath and often pale skin. To overcome anemia, you need to eat animal-based proteins that are rich in heme iron and vitamin B12. These are the two most important nutrients needed to make healthy red blood cells. Include grass-fed beef, lamb or liver in your diet three times per week to boost iron and B12 levels naturally. Unfortunately, plant-based foods don't contain B12 and only contain elemental forms of iron which is very poorly absorbed. This is why it's so important to not go completely on a plant-based diet. I'll talk more about the best foods to eat to boost oxygen saturation later in the video. Which moves me on now to number 6, improving your posture. Poor posture can compress your lungs, preventing them from opening and expanding fully. This makes it harder to take in oxygen. Forward head posture can also compress blood vessels which limits blood flow to the brain. To fix this, practice sitting or standing with your shoulders back and your chest open. This will improve your breathing, allowing more oxygen to reach your lungs and tissues. Avoid slouching, especially if you sit for long periods during the day. You may also try the YTW poses to stretch and loosen tight neck and shoulder muscles, which is something that I do every day. Correcting your posture not only boosts blood flow and oxygen levels, but it also makes you feel more confident and relaxes the nervous system. Number 7 is lower cortisol. High cortisol levels caused by chronic stress can reduce oxygen delivery to your tissues. The cortisol stress hormone narrows your blood vessels which slows blood flow and oxygenation. It also disrupts your breathing patterns causing you to overbreathe and this causes a drop in carbon dioxide levels. When your carbon dioxide drops too much, it can cause your blood to become too alkaline where your cells struggle to absorb oxygen efficiently because of something called the Bower effect. To lower cortisol, you must find ways to manage your stress. Getting 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep each night helps to regulate cortisol and improve oxygen delivery. I also suggest avoiding stimulants like caffeine after midday as they can also trigger cortisol and keep you up at night. Drinking herbal teas like chamomile or lemon balm can also naturally calm your nervous system down. By lowering your cortisol, you'll relax your blood vessels, improve oxygen flow and feel more energised. And number 8 is strengthen your lungs. Cigarette smoke, vaping, home cleaning chemicals and sprays can all cause inflammation in your lungs. This makes it harder to breathe and take in oxygen from the air. To help detox your lungs, the cheapest thing that you can do is to start taking a 30 minute walk outside in nature each day. You see, plants and trees release essential oils into the air which can open up your airways and improve breathing. Also, infrared rays from the sunlight can penetrate the clouds, your clothes and your bone and this will boost your melatonin levels, a powerful antioxidant which helps to heal and protect the delicate tissues in your lungs. If you have shortness of breath, asthma, COPD or some other breathing difficulty, you can also lower the inflammation in your lungs by taking 20,000 IUs of vitamin D3 on a daily basis. 
In addition to strengthening the lungs, vitamin D also strengthens your blood vessels and improves circulation naturally. Foods that boost oxygen levels. Eating low quality processed foods depletes your body of nutrients, putting a strain on your heart and lungs. This is why it is fundamentally important to eat real nutrient dense foods more often, as these will supply the raw materials to help your blood absorb and transport oxygen to your tissues. So what should you be eating to boost oxygen levels? Well, watermelon rinds and seeds provide an amino acid called citrulline which widens your blood vessels to improve blood flow. Celery also contains nitrate which have a similar effect. Clams and shellfish are rich in bioavailable iron and B12 to build red blood cells that carry the oxygen in your body. As I mentioned earlier, beef and liver is rich in heme iron and B12 and is the number one healing food on the planet. Pumpkin seeds provide magnesium and some zinc which relaxes blood vessels, lowers stress and improves breathing. Mackerel is loaded with coenzyme Q10, an antioxidant that repairs the energy factories in your cells so that they can use oxygen to make energy. Wheatgrass juice has concentrated chlorophyll which is a great blood builder. Salmon is a good source of omega-3s to make your arteries more flexible. Sunflower seeds are packed full of an antioxidant called vitamin E. Pomegranates contain polyphenols which enhance blood flow. Avocados are one of the best sources of potassium to normalise your blood pressure. And asparagus is a rich source of folate which can also help to prevent anemia. Summary. A lack of oxygen in your blood or tissues can cause a range of health problems as you age. This happens because of poor circulation, stress, nutritional deficiencies or inflammation. However, it's very possible to increase your oxygen levels by making some simple lifestyle changes. Practice gentle nose breathing and take in a little less air to help your blood cells absorb more oxygen. Drinking carbonated water helps to hydrate your cells and increase oxygen in the tissues. Wedge pillows, houseplants, mouth taping or nose strips help you get more air while you sleep. Ginkgo is one of the best supplements to improve circulation. Red meat provides heme iron and B12 to make red blood cells, the oxygen transporters. Avoid slouching and improve your posture to breathe in more air. Lower your stress and cortisol to improve your breathing pattern. And strengthen your lungs by going for walks to get sunlight for melatonin and vitamin D. Some people have constant phlegm and mucus stuck in their lungs which can also cause breathing problems as well. If you'd like to find out what the real causes of this constant phlegm and mucus are, tap on the video that I've put on the screen now for more information. Thank you so much for watching another of my videos. I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.